Hello and welcome to the Daily Cricket Show Cricket Happenings. On this part of the Daily Cricket Show today, what I have for you, dear friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings, is uh, the preview. I mean, I wouldn't say it's a preview because, uh, you know, the, it is all decided. It's only a matter of Sri Lanka actually um, gaining some lost prestige in this ODI series against Pakistan which I can briefly talk about the fourth one day international which is coming up between Pakistan and Sri Lanka so that's the one uh, which is which is one that I can have a look at and the other one would be the two match as you know New Zealand are over here in India uh, to play a series of ODIs and T20s and uh, today New Zealand actually uh, had a win over the board president 11 uh, by the um, so they, they had a win over the uh, board presidents, Indian board presidents 11 uh, by 33 runs. It was a close game, I would say, but uh, the Indian board presidents 11 definitely played well. We have a look at that and also have a look at some cricket news. But first, uh, let's start off with the fourth ODI, which is coming up. Pakistan have already taken the series and it's only a matter of not prejudice. So Sri Lanka are the ones who would be under a bit of a cloud here now what are they going to do differently as they have lost are they going to make any changes that's the question it's uh, this is going to be played in Sharjah so uh, and Sharjah cricket ground we all know it's very famous the Sharjah India Pakistan encountered Sharjah and, um, and definitely there'll be a sort of variation in the surfaces no doubt uh, every uh, Dubai Abu Dhabi and Sharjah have been different so Sri Lanka well, as a, they, they would be hoping for a good start. Now, Niroshan Dikwala has uh, promised so much, but has not gone to a big knock, and that's what now Sri Lanka would be needing. Upal Taranga is already in some good nick, and so they would be hoping that uh, both can really forge a very strong opening partnership to set the base, and Kushal Mendes has been a bit of a cloud. He has, uh, he's normally a very good ODI player, but he has not really been amongst the ranks. a good stroke maker, so he probably is putting a bit of pressure on himself here and whether Sri Lanka would be prompted to get in Chamar Kapagadra who has not had a game so far like Ruti Mane, Dinesh Chandimal. Dinesh Chandimal has been having a real battle uh, with the Pakistani leg spinner Sharab Khan. Uh, Sharab Khan has got the better of him with googlies every time he has forced Chandimal uh, to actually misread googlies. So it will be a real test now for Dinesh Chandimal to get over that um, uh, that particular hurdle that he has been having in Sharab Khan, so that will be interesting battle uh, in this uh, in this one-day international, which is a non-consequential, as you all know. Melinda Srivardhana has also been not been able to score much of runs. Sister Pereira has been doing some bit of biffing, I would say. Uh, Dushmanta Chamira, I thought he bowled a very good line the other day. Lahiru Gamage has been impressive. He has been given a long run and some like. Sri Lanka definitely have a lot of hope on this bloke, Lairu Gamage, and he has this aggressive streak about himself as well, Lairu Gamage, uh, Akila Dhananjaya, the spinners, uh, and Jeffrey Vandese, uh, who definitely have shown that uh, they have the ability to bat as well, so that's another good thing for them. Now, as far as uh, Pakistan are concerned, they are definitely on a roll uh, with a 3-0 lead in the ODI series, tomorrow the fourth one day final. I mean, Pakistan, everything they they have done has really been good for them. Imam ul Haq has already announced his entry into international cricket uh, with a century on debut uh, with the with, with Fakhar Zaman. Babar Azam has been really um, like uh, riding a wave uh, in this particular ODI series with two centuries. Uh, Malik Mohammad Afiz has been doing the chipping and Safraz Ahmed is under a bit of a cloud here for sure, the captain. I uh, was not had a decent knock so far and you know uh, I would rather uh, say that you know uh, if possible uh, I, I, I won't uh, probably they could even get um, uh, one of the bats and probably I, I would say that uh, you know uh, just for Safraz Ahmed to get some real hit here uh, I would rather prefer for Safraz Ahmed the cap to the Pakistan team coming in as one drop because already they have already taken the series so that's uh, one thing that they could experiment where Imam Mulak and Fakhar Zaman can open the innings and then Sarfraz Ahmed comes in one drop followed by Babar Azam Malik Mohammed Afiz. That's uh, one of my uh, pure opinion. 
uh, just to get into some form here, get some good heat to the bat. So that is what I could suggest. And, uh, you know, Sarfraz Ahmed has not been amongst the runs at, at all in this ODI series. And uh, that is something uh, that uh, they definitely, definitely uh, require. Uh, which, which, whether it's going to happen, remains to be seen. The tool match, as I said, New Zealand are here in India to play a, a spate of ODI and T20s. And let's have a look here. So New Zealand batted first with a 50 overs encounter, which was between the Indian board president 11 and New Zealand. And New Zealand in the 50 overs raised 343 for nine. They were spurred on by Ross Taylor, uh, who retired out 102 of 80, that is 14 fours in one season. Tom Latham, who at this time has been slaughtered in the middle order, and he had a good look, and he was pretty confident, and uh, it looked to be a very, very good move uh, so far, because Latham uh, actually played the pace uh, in a very comfortable manner. As far as Pin was concerned, he was confidence personified, he was using the sweep shots well, and he was looking in pretty good touch here. Uh, Guptill made 32, 46, 4, 4 at the top of the order. Colin Munro could not get going, 26, 23 balls, uh, 5, 4, uh, did his job what he was done to be. Williamson was um, an early victim for just one run. Nichols, Henry Nichols, 24 of 17, 4, 4, Colin de Granholm, 2, Santon was not out in 29 of 18, 2, 4, 1, 6. Adam in 4, Tim Saudi, Duck 3, 4, D3 for 9 was what New Zealand put on the board. The Indian bowling did not look impressive. 1 for 82 for Kulkarni was rammed. Renatkat had 4 for 57. Nadeem none for 49. I'm not going to go into those details. Let's have a look at the Indian board president's 11. Uh, but, uh, chasing 344. 50 overs. Um, uh, Prithvi Shaw, as I said, already has um, really shown. Uh, at an age of uh, 17, I suppose, uh, that he has some real qualities in him. Uh, today, he, he was clean bowled by Santon for 22 of 30, that was 4 of 4. Uh, Karun Nair making 53 of 54, 7 boundaries. Rishabh Pan failed with the bat. He has not been having a very good um, uh, season as well, I would say. He was up for 7. Shreya Sahar, 24 of as many balls, 4 of 4. Good Kirit Singh was the one who uh, really took it to the opposition with 65, 46. Seven fours and three sixes, but uh, there was not much to be coming. Three, Milan Kumar, three, Chowdhury, 12, uh, KV Sharma, 12, but 19. But uh, double Kulkarni made 24. Uh, but Jave Dunatkar showed that he can be a good all rounder as well. 44 of 24 balls, then clapped with five fours and three sixes in a losing cause. And finally, but it was, I thought they really made a good fist of a fight here. As uh, India, uh, the Indian board persons were all out for 310. So thus, uh, they, they were just falling short by 33 runs and they lost the match. Um, well, um, they had bowling toward each and every baller. In fact, all the um, all the 11 ballers bowled. Um, so definitely nothing to read into that. So that was the New Zealand versus Indian board person Zilvan. So New Zealand would be getting in some bit of confidence here. Now let's have a look at some cricket news. The cricket news which is coming in from Pakistan is not at all good. We're talking about the Mohammed Afiz, the all-rounder, who has just recently uh, been um, um, approved by the ICC to bowl. And uh, it seems that Mohammed Afiz's action has once again been reported. So he's in some real trouble here for sure. Um, uh, Dale Strain is, um, has made an announcement that uh, he would be liking to make a comeback in international cricket in the month of November and that's good news for South Africa. Uh, just keeping the topic on the South Africans, uh, Hashim Amla, as you know, Sri Lanka have already won, sorry, South Africa have already won the ODI series with the final ODI which is coming up. Uh, Hashim Amla would be rested. Aidan Markram, who had a beautiful debut uh, in the test matches. Uh, will make his ODI debut uh, and um, as you know um, a Todd Hassel was the off-spinner who was selected in the New Zealand squad on the tour of India. Uh, he unfortunately uh, is uh, injured and uh, the other uh, spinner who is going to replace him is going to be East Sodhi. Well dear fans of Cabers, I have nothing else to really talk about. Uh, I think it's uh, about time for me uh, to end this uh, short cricket show. Uh, on on this note on uh, by on on this note today uh, by uh, by bidding you all a very good night